Welcome to the RSP NFL Lens. I'm Matt Waldman with Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Let's take a look at Mo Ali Cox, veteran tight end with Indianapolis Colts. He's a third string guy behind Trey Burton and Jack Doyle, but both those guys got hurt. He's been on this offense for a while. You can see here he's not a bad blocker. Um, you're going to see him on the front side of this play, bottom right. And it's going to be a combo block with his right tackle. He's going to work to that defensive end who's playing outside shade on the on the right tackle, he's playing on that outside gap. Mo Ali Cox does a good job of taking that outside shoulder to be able to push that defender in to his defend his right tackle on that combo, so that he can then work up to the defensive back over here on the outside. He does a good job of taking the inside shoulder of that defender and pushing him to the outside, and then following up, he's got pretty quick feet. He's a fluid player. You know, he's a good athlete overall, may not have that great size in terms of his legs. You know, he's not a, you know, he's kind of more of a basketball-like athlete in terms of his shape. But you can see he's fluid, he's mobile, and if you use him on, you know, front side combos, he, he's pretty good there. He's going to be good on the back side for what you need. He can also help out a little bit, even one-on-one -on, -one on a defensive end. Let's take a look at that. All right, here he is the next play. You're going to see the edge defender here playing in the two-point. Now he gets down in this three. You're going to see Cox do a pretty good job of working towards the man. He extends a little bit too far maybe, but he comes with that uppercut. Still hands are to the outside of the defender, but gets a little bit of a push, is able to kind of stand up and, and anchor just enough that it gives a crease for his running back to get through without the defender being able to shed in time. So he ties up the man reasonably well not the greatest block in the world but it's not bad i mean i think you know when you look at it he does roll through his hips you see kind of how his hips bend in as he makes that contact so he's using his hips to power through the contact with his hands and that does push get the push on the man and push him back about a yard or two and it holds up the defender just enough for the running back to get through here for a nice game a good place where you're going to see cox oftentimes is in the slot especially when they spread the field like this in a 10 personnel two by two set plays in the slot here and this isn't the greatest start for cox on a good game he has a defender who slides inside over top of him pretty early and he's going to run this in breaking route and the defender anticipates it all the way well this is especially important then for the receiver to really break his route sharp and you don't really see he kind of drifts into that break here you're going to see it as he makes that turn with that inside foot, that's not bad, but that outside foot takes too wide of a step, and now he's drifted into the defender's path. And he really doesn't have a good position for the ball here when it comes to making this break. He's using an underhand technique. He should be sharper with his break, hands out with his fingertips pointed to the sky, arms extended, He'd have more control over this ball, and the contact wouldn't have affected him as much. But Harrison, you know, this is not what you want. And Harrison Smith is able to disrupt this play. You end up with an interception early. Once again, we're going to see Cox as a blocker in the end zone, in the red zone. This is important. You're going to see a motion to cross here, being part of the wing, you know, with two um, tight ends on this side. He does a good job of working with the combo block to the outside shoulder of the end and being able to tie up that defender as his tackle works back to the inside to help out and seal the defensive lineman. Good job staying with the defender on that play. The thing that people are going to like about Cox as a replacement to Doyle and to Trey Burton is that because he can do some blocking and because he's a good um, athlete in terms of how he moves after the catch, he's a good rebounder, they're going to use him in a variety of ways here. He's going to be lined up here to the left, and he's going to work inside to block down on the defense on the um, the edge defender over here. And this is a, a, a really kind of a slow developing tight end screen, where he basically blocks down and then slides outside, makes the quick catch, and it's a quick release type of um, technique that you have to have here because you want to hold that block as long as possible. And then have that defender kind of get a push on you and you give that defender kind of a suspension of disbelief that they they believe that you're trying to hold them up 
They need to slide past. Nice quick catch. Good use of the hands there. Has his blockers to the inside to seal. And he has nice acceleration for a tight end to be able to work down the field. He gets an, a, a quality gain here and really a first down. Finishes well with the pad level. Really good pad level on that play. Doesn't get chopped at the legs. Does, or at least he minimizes that with the, with the shoulder into the defender. So that's a really nice play. And you can tell by his usage that the Colts are confident about him as kind of a post-up player, rebound type of player. You can see him on the, the back side of this 3 by one set. He's up at the top here. He's just going to run a stop route. You're going to see him work to the top, and it's going to be the type of route where once he gets into the defender here, he just turns through it outside in, squares up, has his back to the defender, makes the catch in tight coverage, takes the hit, and just kind of plows forward. So, you know, this is a precision route in terms of Rivers. You know, he, he probably looks out the safety. He's looking here at the top of the break, delivers the ball with pressure on, and you're just looking at a, you know, a turn and a catch here, just quick play. And it's all about earning position and just being confident and being able to make the play in tight quarters. And because of his size, his stride length, his quickness initially, he can get past a linebacker, especially if you're in a situation like the Vikings here where I think they blow the coverage a bit. You have a linebacker here who probably thinks that he's going to be taking on this shallow flat, lets Ali Cox go inside of him and run the, um, the sail route. And then Kendrick's over here. I think he makes a quick adjustment to realize that he's going to have to pick up Cox and either he was supposed to from the beginning and was a step or two late to do so, or he's trying to help out his linebacker in the flat here to take this defender. And I think that basically there's some sort of miscommunication here and assumption about who picks up Cox, and that's why you see Kendricks kind of chasing from behind. But when you have two tight end sets like this and a third receiver over top, you know, that can be a bit confusing sometimes, and that's what they're banking on on offense. And Cox runs the route well, tracks the ball over his head very smoothly. Nice play. You're going to see more of that. Here's another play where the Vikings linebacker seems to, you know, have some sort of issue with his assignment, like wasn't completely prepared for what was coming here and maybe just didn't understand his assignment. The safety's playing at that left hash. He's playing outside the right hash. Here's Allie Cox in line. You see a defender here, an edge defender. Looks like he's going to possibly blitz, but then he drops back to cover this flat and he's going to take on the running back sliding out there. 50 seems to just pass off Allie Cox thinking that the safety is going to help out, but the safety was playing at that left hash and the safety realizes that the linebackers passed off Cox and Cox is again running that that sail route and he's left in no man's land so you know these are nice situations when you can spread the field and you can flood an area here you can have some assignment breaks downs this is the second time you've seen that where basically 50 passes off Cox the safety sees that he's like oh and he has to run over here so whether that's the safety or whether that's number 50 Certainly that was a breakdown, and Cox takes advantage. Smooth receiver right there. You'll see him work off here. Number 81 from the red zone view. Really not nothing contested there. Just works down the field. Really it's all about that he can track the ball well and that, the, that the, they scheme him open and there's an assignment breakdown by the Vikings. Probably the biggest play that stands out when you're thinking about Cox's value as a receiver and the confidence that Philip Rivers has in tall players that he can let them go up and win the ball. It's this play right here. You're going to have a trip set to the right. It's 10 personnel with Cox to the top of the screen in line. And he's just going to work downfield once again. You know, he, he has a one-on-one -on -one with the defensive back here. Turns to the outside on what looks like a sail route as well. And Philip Rivers decides to throw him open over the top, back shoulder. Excellent job rebounding just before the safety comes. I mean, this is a tight window throw. And this is one where you're leaning on your receiver to be able to make the play, make the adjustment, you know, late in the in the throw. And the ball, I believe, is over top where my cursor is circling. And then he comes over and makes that catch. 
So the fact that Philip Rivers, this early on in his tenure with the Colts, has this kind of trust and rapport in a player like Mo Ali Cox, who is the third tight end on the roster, is a good thing to know. And here he is, end zone view. Gets inside number 24. Nice job with that little chop. Something maybe you didn't notice right here. A little chop right there to get position. And look at that adjustment. Good job with both hands very close, thumbs together. Very nice technique there. Snatches the ball to the shoulder as far away as he can get from this oncoming safety. Takes the hit to the chest. No problem. So there he is, Mo Alley Cox. You know, he's a he's a functional tight end in the passing game and in the running game. He's a guy that he can he can help you out in the run game and give you some quick hitting passes either on screen plays or quick hitters to the flat like this. He can work up the seam on seam, on sail routes for you. You can be thrown open. You can use him on you know, you can use him over the middle, stop routes, you know, Maybe t certain timing routes breaking over the middle he's got to get a little bit better at. Got to get more consistent with his catch technique in some of these tight quarter plays where precision is very important um, on quick breaking routes like what we saw in the red zone area against the Vikings where it led to an interception. But overall, this is a, a player who can be of value to their passing game right now. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Film Room um, videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.